Justice Tower. <laughs> this is our first time here though, so yeah. it's amazing. It's amazing. This, this Ghanaian girl, she doesn't know she has ever been no, here. It's my first so time. it's um, shame on me. I yeah, know. shame on her. And she doesn't even know where she's from. Bro! Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again. As we all know, we have a lot of Nigerians living in Ghana and the estimation of Nigerians living in Ghana is not really known, but we all know that there are lots, perhaps three, four, five million, we don't know, but we have a lot of Nigerians living in Ghana, you see? And some of them are very popular on social media because they talk about they living in Ghana proudly and they share some of the experiences that they have living in Ghana. So today is no different. I'm here to share with you some Nigerians who are living in Ghana and have shared what they are experiencing. Some of them have lived here for a very long time some of them too, not that long, but I think all of them are living in Ghana or have lived in Ghana before and some too have visited the country and just enjoyed the culture. So I'm here to share with you some of the videos. So let's get into the video. Watch some of these videos, come back and talk. Ghana is a very beautiful place. You can visit Ghana anytime, regardless your skin color, regardless where you're from. I'm and a Nigerian like, and I'm in Ghana. I reside in Ghana. Yeah. I'm enjoying Ghana. Everything Ghana some. Everything Ghana some. You know, come. Let's enjoy the beauty of Africa in Ghana. Love you guys. That's why I was hungry in this our Ghana and I said let me go and look for food to eat. Sorry, food and egg. Because they beat fake by me. Ah, I was very hungry. I just start with this juice. I used it to clear my system to keep space for what's coming. And now I moved to this bank one egg and soup. If they ever told me I will eat egg and soup, I would say it's a lie. Ah, but it was sweet, die. And now I moved to this crab. I don't even used to understand crab, but shall me, I remove it. Something I want to eat cannot be stressing me. I moved to jollof rice next. Ah, I thought I'll be able to say now just jollof rice is better. Ah, but this jollof rice is sweet. If you want to know which one is better, go ask your ancestors. Then I moved to fufu. Ah, this fufu was past my power. Oh, I could not even finish it. That's how they brought rice balls. This is egg number three that I was eating in this place. It tastes like two. I never know if to use spoon to eat it or if to use my hand because it was with peanut stew. Ask you made from granut. I say, eh, that's how I left this place because I wasn't really full. And I went to another place to eat a shower. Ah, they saw you mix everything together. Ah, shower, ah, shower. Everything shower, 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 mix it with your maggi, with your salt, with your pepper. I, I still eat it with fried egg. I was talking to say, I any. I say, I any too because I was still looking for beans. They gave me beans and two egg. I mix everything together. Ah, this is when I knew that messy, my messy lady. I still was going on, and I saw them using egg and snack. Ah, already you okay, so you my bastard. If I talk, see, Ghana better pass Nigeria. They say why they talk. Show, show them. ECG, whether they call Nepal for Ghana, just come change our meter. They don't even change and finish you. They still give us card for free. You don't pay for anything. Come give you something. I don't even know. Wait, make a, make a open up. Oh, battery even day. Come give remote where you carry control the meter for free. You don't pay anything, no. Nigeria still they protest <laughs> for waiting to the pursue us. They say bad government, they come to ask us why you they protest. See you for Ghana. Free meter. Free remote. Go even get battery joint. You don't pay one naira as a Nigerian living in Ghana. For free, you. Person who come contempt now say, I talk say Ghana, better pass Nigeria. Why I no go talk up? Why I no go talk up? For your country, where they call Nigeria, they will give you free meter with free remote. Free card, can't get what you call 50 CDs card inside. I mean, almost 6,000 naira free lights. Free light, then inside this thing. So, this thing, new meter, free light oh, with its battery. That protest by, I will come join her for Nigeria. Make her go inside, go pack my things. That protest, 1st of August, we move. Hey guys, my name is Delphina. I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. Something has been disturbing me for a while now. Yeah, should I say I just gathered the nerves to come out and, you know, talk about it. Maybe um, what I'm having inside of me is different from what it is. Yeah. So guys, please help me on this, okay? So I've been living in Ghana for more than six months. I rented a place here in Ghana and what has been worrying me right now is the fact that i rented a place with my own money apartment of more than 15 people living in something got spoiled and i was asked to pay we were asked to contribute and pay for that thing and mind you guys i am less than 
two months in the house i just want to know something guys and please be sincere don't say i'm a nigerian so um because um the landlord is a Ghanaian, so um you will support the Ghanaian or no 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 please be sincere to yourself okay be sincere in answering this question this thing that got spoiled is not in my room but it's something that more than 15 tenants are using and we are asked to pay we are asked to pay so i want to know is it my own duty to pay for that thing or the landlord's duty to fix that thing because I'm a little bit confused here. The reason why I brought it on here is because I need your help. I'm a foreigner here and you guys, your opinion will, you know, it will go a, a long way for me because I do not understand. I've never heard of this in my life before. Our parents also have tenants and I've never heard my father asking anybody to pay for something that got um, spoiled, especially when the person have not um, stayed in the house for a long time. You know, sometimes they don't even come and complain about anything. They do it willingly. So if there's something tenants can do willingly, then it's fine. But you forcing the person or you imposing the thing on the person is uncalled for. So I don't know about Ghana. So I brought it out here so you guys will help me out. You let me know if this is how they do it in Ghana so I should know what to do and, you know, go about it. Because it's really confusing I've never seen it happening yeah I don't know I don't know <laughs> if that's how it's happening Ghana then it's fine I will go by it so please drop your opinion in the comment section below okay I would you know read and take a step and if anything I will come on here and tell you okay and let you guys know because I don't just want trouble I want to you know live my best life peacefully you, you all know Ghana is peaceful I come in peace I don't want to live in pieces so I brought it out here for you to you know help me out so guys the room is open for you to drop your opinion tell me what you think in the comment section below I'm going to check it out and do just as you said thank you very much and see ya in my next video bye just so you know they, they carry lights for Ghana now anyhow so not allowed them use impression you understand not allowed to go to the town and say at least we get like they no get like <laughs> every day now nah, they carry like <laughs> so that if they want come they do like say hey, at least we get lights now nah, no get like just tell us which lights we well, you know not us in a meal just not us in a meal talk <laughs> not us in a meal talk yeah that's my job give me Little more of you son see later. Eh, eh. Then give you one more and give them thing. You understand? You understand? I hope you can keep the secret. Okay. I trust you. Abba. Now only me notice I'm say during the time where you know say before, before when um Ghana start to they do that there are light issues, light out, sometimes them. Um, before like before Ghana come you know they get light we hear say na gas issues and things you know say so sometimes the, the light they go but you know say so as we don't come get light no my friends for Nigeria they, they talk ah, light no day they say no, no get light and true true that they take light for Ghana they, they do them off domiso and true sure you get it they call it domiso for here but I don't know to say blessing Ghana converse they come provoke can leave the light you know they don't touch this light too like you don't reach like like how many months now they don't touch them at all they don't take them safe <laughs> those people there's a lot going on between ghana police and nigerians living in ghana but nobody is ready to talk about it but as a nigerian living in ghana me i go talk because i know they fear anybody yes you don't tell me say ghana police and nigerians things don't happen nobody won't talk yesterday I come from La Paz, they go house around after 11 p.m. As I they go nine, Ghana police van just crossed me pine. And they cross me, cut off, say, okay, who am I? I should identify myself. I said, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. I'm a Nigerian actually. They cut off, say, okay, okay, where are they go by this time? I say, I they go my house. Nine one web day for back of the van. I mean, inside the car will be like their ogre. Cut off, say, which side now they go? Now cut off, say, okay, I they go around a convention. They say, oh, they, they go that side too. Make I enter. Baba. Now, so I enter, they go drop me on my house. I just want to use this, use this opportunity to thank Ghana police. When I try, because that yesterday night, I said, I know go lie you. I know be get transport. 
So as you can see, these are tons of Nigerians who are living in Ghana and there are more but it's not everyone that loves social media when you listen to some of the videos that i showed you one of the ladies <laughs> and this is funny you know she's in ghana she's from nigeria but it seems like she loves that ghana nigeria banter and she was like they've taken light ghana doesn't have lights now and i'm i'm very sure you remember that time that ridko said they are short of gas from Nigeria, so they are not going to get gas from Nigeria for like two weeks or three weeks or so. And they brought out a communique. That was the time that this lady is talking about and just went on social media. Hey, Ghana doesn't have lights. She lives in Ghana too. Ghana doesn't have lights. Ghana doesn't have lights. And I'm sure you saw the next video from that guy who is also a Nigerian. He's like, it's like Ghanaians just vex. When that particular issue came, Nigerians were pulling Ghanaians here and there on social media, but Ghanaians just vexed and they was like, hey, the light, we are not going to take it again. And since that time, he's saying he has not seen a blink of the light. Constantly, there is light for him where he is. See, this is Ghana and we talk a lot. We talk to fix some of these problems and we put pressure on the government. So I think these are some of the things that actually help Ghanaians when some of these issues come. Yes, but, and also, I don't know what you think about what the other lady was also saying she says she's called the film i think she's a content creator on youtube i think the last tv or the last vlog or something she was basically talking about she living in ghana and there is something that got spoiled in the house that she lives it seems it's an apartment that thing did not spoil in her place something that the whole house uses or something and the landlord is seeking for them to pay contribute and pay for that particular thing i don't know i feel like she should have let us know what exactly gospel because if you get to know what exactly that gospel Ghanaians can easily do what help you you know for instance where i live when it happens that something gets spoiled something that all of us will use we contribute you know there are certain houses that perhaps the landlords will take care of it but i think many of the places the landlords they prefer telling you the tenants for you to contribute you see and i feel like this is not something that should be too much of a problem i understand sometimes you might not be having money and she's also new here so she doesn't really know some of these things so it's actually a learning process for her to know how ghana operates when it comes to you renting an apartment in certain areas or how certain landlords deal with some of these things you see yeah and the other guy too was talking about prepaid meter i don't know what actually happens in nigeria but this is something that has been there since time memorial that in ghana when the ecg comes and they want to change your meter they will change it. They will give you some of the units on the meter for you to use for some time before you will buy some for yourself. You know, they will provide you with whatever that you need. This is something that is very, very common in Ghana. Yes, but it seems like it doesn't happen like that in Nigeria. And he's just letting the Nigerians know that this is something that is happening in Ghana. And I respect that. I think he's sharing his experience and we respect that. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.